Hey guys, it's Jeff from the DJ Walkthroughs here, and today we're covering the last weapon from this update, the Triad Pack update, and it's called the Flying Guillotine. So let's get straight into it. So the Guillotine is probably the few items from this, one of the f items from this pack, which is actually really, really good. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best weapon from this update because of the fact that it's unique, different, and it has it. It adds its own taste to it, I guess. Uh, I noticed in one of the rooms, there was actually the picture of the guillotine in one of the rooms. I, I can't, I don't have any footage from it, but it's when you walk into a room and it's like a chef knife. Uh, it's really hard to explain. I think it was in one of these rooms, the room I just walked in, and it was on the first day it came out, but... I looked around for it again to show you gameplay of it, but it it wasn't there, so I'm not sure if I was seeing things or it was horror or like they just got rid of it. I don't know what it was. So my opinion, this is the best weapon from the update because it's unique, different, and it has its own style to the scout. Now Personally, in my opinion, it's great. As you see, the comparison, I use a babyface blaster, and I am slow. So let's look straight into the crafting, crafting set, how to craft this weapon. First thing you want to do is, you want to go to, click on items, crafting, scroll down, click on common items, scroll down until you find the flying guillotine, and then you have to use three mad milks and one reclaimed. For right now, the guillotine is at a price of 1, 1 to 1.33 and the flying guillotine stats as we just saw the stats for this, the stats for this item is throw at your enemies to make them bleed long distance hits cause mini crits 100% critical hits versus stunned players no random critical hits so basically that translates into mini crits at very far away. Now I could not work out the distance from when you have the piff. So I watched like everybody else's videos and they and I they said it would have to be from like halfway across the map to hit somebody. I'm using that as an example, but they I think the mini crits are probably pointless. Um 100% critical hits for the sun players. So if you hit them with like the Sandman, like the ball, and you throw it at them, 100% critical hits. Um, so it's pretty much impossible to not. Well, it's not impossible to die from it, but you can you can probably still survive. It's just a highly unlikely chance. So overall opinion, I think this is the best weapon from the Triad Pack, and if you don't. If you don't mind giving this video a like, and please comment down below your opinions about the flying guillotine. And if you, if I miss something from this video, please say in the comment section below, so you can tell everybody else. And subscribe if you haven't. And this is Jack signing out. Peace.